As I spoke about last episode, Forty is a legend with over 26 albums released so far, and honestly, it doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. Now, let's go back to 2006 when Forty released his most popular album to date, My Ghetto Report Card. It was the ninth studio album released by E40. It was released on March 14th, 2006 by Warner Brothers, Asylum, BME, and Sick Wood at Records. My Ghetto Report Card was supported by two singles, Tell Me When to Go featuring Keek to Sneak and You and That featuring T-Pain and Candy Girl. With E40 as executive producer, the album features production from both Ski, Lil John, and Rick Rock, among others. Critics even noted the influence of the Southern Crook sound. In an interview with MTV News, E40 described the title as a reflection of having straight A's across the board and doing nothing foul in the game. The Guardian music critic Angus Batty described the opening track, Yay Area, as one of the handful of truly experimental, daring, and genuinely flabbergasting rap tracks released so far this century in a 2015 profile of E40. My Ghetto Report Card debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 and remains E40's highest charting album as of 2020, surpassing the 1996 album The Hall of the Game that peaked at number 4 on August that peaked at number 4. On August 25th, 2006, the RIAA awarded the album a gold certification for selling 500,000 units, making it the fourth E40 album to earn RIAA certification. Two songs from My Get a Ripple Card were released as singles, starting with Tell Me When to Go, featuring fellow Bay Area native Keek to Sneak. Released on February 1st, 2006, Tell Me When to Go peaked at number 35 on the Billboard Hot 100 on April 1st, 2006. Number 37 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs chart on April 8th, and number 8 on the Hot Rap Songs chart on March 25th. You and That, featuring T-Pain and Candy Burris, credited as Candy Girl, was the second single off this album. Released on May 2nd, 2006, it was more successful than Tell Me When To Go, as it charted for 25 weeks on the Hot 100 and peaked at number 13 on August 26, 2006. In addition to peaking at number 8 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs on September 2nd, and number 4 on the Hot Rap Songs on August 26th. Due to the success of Tell Me When To Go and High themed songs on radio and MTV, the East Bay Express and the Oakland Tribune speculated that My Ghetto Report Card would become E-40's mainstream breakout album. By May 2006, Jim Harrington of the Oakland Tribune observed that at a concert sponsored by local radio station Wilds 94.9, crowned E-40 as the new king of hip-hop. Writing for the Oakland-based East Bay Express, Rachel Swan listed the album amongst the best of 2006 and called it the most elegant in a spat of hyphy albums released this year. Now let's go over this track list, writing, production, and the samples. We're going to take a short ad break here and get right back to the show. Thank you for listening to that ad. Now back to the show. Yay Area, writing by Ishmael Butler, Thomas Jackson, Earl Stevens, Ricardo Thomas, and Mary Ann Varea. Produced by Rick Rock. Samples include Rebirth of Slick Cool Like That, performed by Diggable Planet. Tell Me When to Go, featuring Kate to Sneak, writing by Meryl McDaniels, Russell Simmons, Joseph Simmons, Jonathan Smith, Charles Williams, and Earl Stevens. Produced by Little John. And samples include Dumb Girl, performed by Run DMC. Muscle Cars, featuring Kate to Sneak and Turf Talk, writing by Damar Bernstein, Smith, Stevens, and Williams, produced by Little John. Go Hard or Go Home, featuring The Federation, writing by Anthony Caldwell, Jackson, Marvin Selman, Stevens, and Thompson, produced by Rick Rock. Gouda, featuring Be Legit and Stressmatic, writing by Jackson, Brant Jones, Stevens, Thomas, and Thomas, production by Rick Rock. Sick With It 2, featuring Turf Talk, writing by Bernstein, Stevens, and Earl Stevens Jr., produced by Droop E. JB Stompdown Skit, They Might Be Tapin, writing by Stevens and Thompson, produced by Rick Rock. Do Your Head Like This, Writing by Stevenson Thompson, produced by Rick Rock. Block Boy, featuring Miko and Stressmatic, writing by Jackson Stevens, Marvin Whiteman, and M Miko Yor, produced by Studio Ton. White Girl, featuring UGK and Joel Santana, writing by Chad Butler, Gary Cooper, Bernard Freeman, LaRon James, Joseph Mallory, Rudy Sheriff, Smith, Stevens, and William Stroman, produced by Little John. Samples include A Fly Girl, produced by A Fly Girl, performed by Boogie Boys. GetTheFuckOn.com, Part 1, which is a skit. You and Dat, featuring T-Pain and Candy Girl, writing by Alfonso Bailey, Candy Burris, Fahim Nathan, Smith, and Stevens, produced by Little John. I'm the Man, featuring Mike Jones and Al Capone, writing by Bailey, LaMarcus Jefferson, Michael Jones, Craig Love, Smith, and Stevens, produced by Little John. Ye, featuring Too Short and Buddha, writing by Brandon Medlock, Todd Shaw, Smith, and Stevens, produced by Little John. GetTheFuckOn.com, part two, which is a skit. Just Fuckin', featuring Bosco, writing by Bosco Conti and Stevens, produced by Bosco. Gimme Head, featuring Al Capone and Bosco, writing by Bailey, Conti, Love, James Phillips, Smith and Stevens, produced by Little John. She Says She Loves Me, featuring Eight Ball and Bun B, writing by Butler, George Clinton, William Collins, Cooper, Freeman, Jefferson, Love, Gary Scheider, Smith, Pimrose Smith, and Stevens, produced by Little John. Samples include Diamonds and Wood, performed by UGK. Happy to Be Here, featuring DD Artists, writing by Conti and Stevens, produced by Bosco. My Ghetto Report Card is a classic West Coast album. Some places in the US may disagree, but I would credit that's not knowing the history of West Coast music. The sounds, instruments, and samples 
used on the west coast will not always translate to the south, the midwest, and the north. Regardless if you think this album is a classic or not, the truth is, it is. E-40 slang will live on far past anyone alive today. 40 is a certified legend in OG's OG. Thank you for listening to this episode of Hip Hop History. Please like, subscribe, and leave a review if possible. Thank you and have a great day.